Guys, what's going on? It's Matt with Cafe Holistic, and today we're going to talk about relieving constipation naturally with a, a specific breathing exercise. It's a, pre, it's a really great one, but before we get into that, we'll talk a little bit about just keys to improving digestion and relieving constipation. And as, so as I talked about in a previous video, you want to cut out the processed foods. You want to be exercising, you want to be getting oxygen, moving, so those breathing exercises that I showed you last time. This, the Kapalabhati, and the Bastrika, where you reach up and. So, if you want more instruction on those, you can watch my previous video on improving digestion. But otherwise, today we're going to talk a little bit more about relieving constipation. So, you want to be going to the bathroom at least once a day, and, and, the, and, and the actual bowel elimination should be pretty effortless. So, if there's any struggle or distension, while you're doing that, you're constipated. If there's any stomach pains, you're, you're constipated. And about a, apparently a quarter of Americans suffer from some form of pretty serious uh, constipation. So you want to be cutting out those the foods that are clogging you up. Um, so eat more fibers, fruits, vegetables, uh, flax seeds, pumpkin seeds. You want to be cutting out the processed foods, so the cereals, the breads, the pizzas. You want to cut out if possible, cut back on the dairy. I know it's hard, it's like a drug. C cutting out cheese, you'll have withdrawals, but it's important. Over time, stuff, stuff actually starts to build in the stomach, so rather than it flowing through, you, you get backed up. Some people have 5, 10, 20 pounds of matter just sitting in their stomach, especially when you see someone who has a really long, you know, a, a protruding belly. Yes, they have, they have constipation, they may have parasites in their intestines and their colons, so and that's pretty nasty stuff. You want to get that stuff moving. You want to get it moving through and out. Naturally, as that happens, you will feel a little bit lighter. You'll have more energy. You'll you'll literally be lighter. And that stuff that's stuck in there, it, it over time it calcifies, it hardens. So it, it's a pretty gross thing to think about. You guys are probably thinking I'm the poop guy because that's what I've been talking about the past two videos, but no, I'm just trying to help relieve constipation, relieve, improve digestion. So the breath we're going to be going over today, it's a digestive kriya. So essentially we're going to be pulling the belly back and in and, and slightly pressing on the organs to relieve that constipation, get stuff moving. So one way you can do this is you come to a sitting position, you kind of come to like a butterfly position, and your feet are in front of you, toes are curled outwards, right? So first I'll demo it and then I'll give some more instruction on it. So it looks like this, inhale, fill up, exhale through the mouth, And then release by inhaling. So as you notice, I'm sitting on a block to prop the hips up. You may want to sit on a blanket or a pillow. That may help a little bit. So the breath, it's a full inhale. The palms can come back, fill up, chest comes forward. On the exhale, the palms come onto the ground or the mat or the mud in my case. And then so the palms come down, the forearms are resting on the shins. And then once you release all the air out of the mouth forcefully, you pull the belly back and in firmly. And there'll be a slight tuck of the chin. It may take a little bit of practice to get this. That's okay. So well, one more time, I'll, I'll demo the, the, the Kriya. So inhale, fill up. Exhale, mouth, everything out. Release by inhaling, you can just inhale and then just kind of keep going or you can take a few breaths in between them. That's okay. So you, you may feel a little bit of discomfort at the beginning. You probably will want to just pull the belly back and in very gently, or, and, but as, as you get better at this, you'll, you'll be pulling it in quite firmly and you'll feel a little bit of, little bit of discomfort, 
no, no pain, pain's bad for sure. And then as you pull your belly back and in, you'll actually feel a slight constriction of the throat, which means you let all the air out. That's, that's a good sign. So how many times to do this? Uh, you could do this about five to 10 times, depending on how serious you are about getting that stuff moving. You can also do this standing up, which I'll show you. Um, and so if you've eaten, you probably won't want to do this. You, it's a great Kriya to do first thing in the morning when the stomach's empty or a few hours after a meal. So if you've just eaten, if you're menstruating, you probably, if you're pregnant, you know, this will be an impossibility. But just once again, you want to be getting those mucus forming foods out of the diet that are going to clog you, constipate you. The dairy for sure, that took, that, that took, that took some serious willpower. I'm pretty much completely cut dairy out of my diet. It, 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 it somehow sometimes creeps in and I notice when it does creep in. You try to cut out the gluten, the, the, so the bread, the starches, the wheat, that also somehow always creeps in. It's, it's in almost everything. It's in salad dressing, it's in soy sauce. It's, it's very hard to get away from those two. So you, I really recommend eating a whole foods diet. What does that mean? It's essentially you're eating stuff that's been unprocessed. It's natural. So a bean is from the earth, whether it's cooked or not, it's still natural. Um, grains, you can eat grains, quinoa, brown rice, great. Vegetables, fruits obviously are great as well. Seeds, nuts and seeds, you wanna eat those as well. Uh, meats, meats can actually be quite clogging as well. If you're going to eat animal products like meat or fish, you do not wanna be eating them with breads. The two, the enzymes that are required to break them down actually counteract each other and, and create a mess in the stomach. So, so you want, you want, if you eat animal product, if you eat meat, you want to be very careful what you eat it with. You want to eat it with likely a lot of vegetables. If you eat, eat a, you know, the chicken or the fish on the salad, and not with a lot of other stuff. And also, when you eat meals, you want to really give your body the time to digest before you eat, put other stuff in. So, you, you know, try to eat three maybe four meals a day and have a good three to four hours in between the meals where you eat where you don't eat anything you're just drinking water and just letting your body do what it does best and digest the food so hopefully that was helpful and I'll demo this other pose right now all right guys and I just want to demo this this Kriya this digestive Kriya standing so you can do it sitting in that butterfly position or this this may be easier or more of a challenge it might be your preference. So you bring the palms to your thighs. So I'll demo first and then kind of go into a little more detail. Inhale, fill up. Exhale, mouth forceful, everything out. <sighs> and then release by inhaling. So just like before, you inhale, fill all the way up, exhale through the mouth, and then once you finish the exhale, pull the belly back and in firmly. That's called Udiana. It's a stomach bind, stomach lock. And then you'll slightly tuck the chin, and you'll feel that slight constriction on the back of the throat. And then, by the way, the elbows are okay to hike up towards the ears in this breath. So when you inhale, they'll be down. Exhale, they'll hike up, straighten the arm. And guys, thanks for watching the video. Hopefully it was helpful. Let me know if you have any questions. And subscribe to the channel. I'm going to be making more videos on holistic health, connecting mind, body, and spirit. That's really the key to optimum health. I mean, the body is important. It is one of the three important factors. But also, learning to control the mind, learning to relax, still the mind, learning to connect with spirit is also very important having optimal health. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Namaste.